Hello, I greet you, and I greet you in the presence of the Most Holy Trinity, of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Mamma Margherita, St. John Bosco's mother, was a very charitable woman. She offered assistance to those who asked her for her help. At the same time, she was very careful not to hurt anyone by any action of hers or even by a single word lacking in love. She enjoyed peace of heart. She was calm, not by nature, but by God's grace and self-control. When she felt angry, for some reason or another, perhaps for a bad action that she had seen, or a bad word that she had heard, she controlled herself and remained calm. She never harbored in her mind any thought of envy or hatred towards anyone. And she never had an opportunity to forgive because whoever hurt her in some way or another, she would tell him, nothing happened. You don't need to ask me for forgiveness because you haven't offended me. However, she had a very sensible character. She felt suffering as much as she rejoiced in the face of pleasant situations. She praised and encouraged those who did good, whoever they were. She would never say no when she would help someone in need. Her neighbors used to go to her to borrow fire, water or firewood. Whoever was sick and perhaps needed some wine to heal would send the relative or friend to Margarita and ask her for some wine. Margarita sweetly was always there to help those in need. She also lent oil, bread, wheat flour and corn flour. Sometimes she got back what she had lent, but at other times nothing of the sort returned by the poor. It was not the first time that people borrowed bread and the following week would go again to borrow and apologize to her for not having returned the bread borrowed the previous week. And Margarita told them not to worry and forget the bread she had lent them the week before. Just, she told them, give me back the bread that I am lending you today. The house she had in Becky, you know that Becky is in Castel Nuovo, dusty. Today it's called Castel Nuovo Don Bosco. The house she had in Becky was secluded because it was surrounded by many tall trees on a hill. Sometimes late at night bandits would come to her and ask her for help. Bandits were lawless people, often very poor, who didn't even have a home and would wander from one place to another. These bandits used to call Margarita in a low voice from the street. They called her in a low voice because they were afraid that there would be some policemen at Margarita's house and end up facing them. Margarita went out late at night and helped those hungry bandits, tired as they used to be. The bandits would ask her for something to eat and Margarita would tell them, come in. At the moment, I don't have any food ready, but it doesn't matter. 
I shall soon cook something for you. Then she would call one of her sons, Giovanni, who later on became St. John Bosco. And she said to Giovanni, Giovanni, go and get some firewood. Fill the pot with water and boil it. Let's make some soup from the vegetables of our field for these hungry people. These men are very hungry and have nothing to eat. These are our friends. Please note, she called them friends. And the reason was not because they were bandits, but because they were poor. And energetic Margarita would continue telling Giovanni, but don't tell anyone what we are doing tonight. Giovanni immediately obeyed and did what his mother had told him. After a little while, Giovanni would tell his mother, Mamma, the water in the pot is boiling. His mother would suggest to him, put the pasta in the pot and Giovanni would go and find no pasta. So he would regretfully answer her, Mamma, all the pasta has finished. See if there is flour, Mamma Margherita would answer. And Giovanni would give her the same answer, No, Mamma, also the flour has finished. And Mamma Margherita would tell him, Then put some pieces of bread and make a vegetable soup. Sometimes at home, they had nothing else to eat except stale bread. As soon as the soup was ready, she would call the bandits and tell them to sit down at a corner in a dimly lit room, so that if any policemen came, they wouldn't see the bandits. So those hungry bandits would come in sit down and swallow the food. Afterwards, they would thank her gratefully, while often calling her mamma, as if she had been her own mother. But the story does not end here. After their meal, they would tell her, we don't have any shelter where to pass the night. Can we stay here for the night? And Margarita would answer them, You can go and sleep in the attic. In it there is some straw. Arrange it and sleep on it. That's the only spare room I have. And the bandits would tell her, In the attic? Well, very good. But before they went up, they would tell her, What about the police? If they come at night and discover us, here Margarita showed them a skylight, which seemed to be used simply as a window for light. But in fact, the skylight could be opened and they could go out into another room where she stored grain. And from that room, they could go out in the street without being noticed by anyone. After explaining to them these things, she would wish them a good and restful night. Before going up to sleep, the bandits would want to kiss Margarita's hand as a sign of gratitude, but Margarita never wanted to. She used to tell them, instead of a kiss, I would prefer that you go up and before you sleep, you say a prayer together and thank God for all the benefits that he has given you. And the bandits would answer, be sure that we will pray. Then they would go up to sleep and there they would spend the night in silence. But the story doesn't end here. Shortly after the bandits had gone up to sleep, two or three policemen would come and spend some time at Margarita's house. They made it a habit of doing that, spending some time talking, chatting together, and at the same time they would rest from their walk in streets and fields to catch bandits. Upon entering, they would immediately ask 
how her children were. Margherita was looking after three children at that time, Antonio, Giuseppe and Giovanni. Giovanni who became St. John Bosco later on. The policemen were very drawn to Giuseppe. That's why they used to call him. Giuseppe used to enjoy their company, would come quickly, sit and talk to them. He liked to ask them a lot of questions, wanted to know from them all the news of the day, what they had encountered in their work and all the arrests they had made. When the policemen saw how curious Giuseppe was about their work and how well he could talk, they preferred to stay talking to him. They weren't very familiar with Giovanni because Giovanni didn't want to be so friendly with them. He spoke little or nothing, never asked them any question. He listened to everything but didn't comment on anything. Thank you for listening. You who are listening and me, one day in heaven together shall be, always by the power of God's grace.